Hi everyone, my name is Mark and I'm going to be talking about order. Africa's all-in-one software for food business owners. So we have come to observe that one point, over 1.5 million African food businesses still use pen and paper to manage their business. Now the reality of this is that it consumes time for reconciliation of their books at the end of day and it also creates room for theft and without proper management of their historical data, it just makes it all time consuming to manage their business. So our mission at Orda is to enable food business owners take their operations from pen and paper to digital, right? Powered by our cloud-based platform, food business owners can rely on Orda to operate their business. Now we have decided to digitize the most vibrant part of Africa's economy. What exactly have we built? Now, we have a point of sale that helps you manage dining orders at your establishment. And this point of sale, built on Android, works with little or no internet. Now, we also help you manage your orders, right? So from all the orders you get, from dining orders, from um, the, the, the orders that have, been com that, that have come in through your microsites or all the other aggregators that we have partnered with. Now, some of these aggregators are Uber Eats, Bolt Foods uh, and Glovo, right? So all of these orders come in and you can manage them from the same platform. Now, by the same platform, you can also see your business analytics and understand how your business is doing by end of day or for a certain time period. What we have also considered is because of theft and loss, right, we have also built an inventory management system to also ride on the same application, right? So that way, for every, every meal you, you, you sell, you can actually see your margins. So the inventory management works in such a way that you can, actually prof you can actually set up your inventory down to your recipe level, right? So that way, you see your margins for every meal versus your recipes. Now, why this market, right? We understand that this market is valued at $51 billion. And that's why we have taken advantage of this, of this market. Now, over 50% of the transactions that happen in sub-Saharan Africa are food related. So we understand that this food sector is a large one and we've decided to stay there. For us at Order, as at Q1 of 2023, we have successfully onboarded over a thousand restaurants and that's counting in Nigeria and also in Kenya. So let's take a look at our month on month. Um, oops. Okay. So we see here, as at January 2022, we had 41,000 orders you know, transacted through the platform. This is one year later, we have over 200 and 250,000 transactions. And then we, go, we, we journey down to October 2023, we have 668,000 transactions processed through the platform. This shows that as Africa's economy grows, its population continues to eat outside their home. As such, we have experienced an increase in adoption and a month-on-month -month increase in transaction volume. So one of the things we considered while we were building was how to also embed payments into, the into our product, right? So in 2023, Q2 of 2023, we started rolling out payments, right? And that's at July 2023, we had transacted $4,961,000 through the system. So this shows that people have adopted, they like the, the product, and the customers are actually transacting and using payments. And we see, the trans, we see the trajectory, and this is November 2023, right? And we ha at this time, we have transacted 488,500 and US dollars. With our integrated payment solution, payment collection and reconciliation has never been more seamless with order. Restaurants can now process card payments, receive funds, their bank transfer mobile money to complete their orders. Now the mobile money aspect is in PESA and that happens primarily in Nairobi, Kenya. And then for, for all the payments, we have card payments and bank transfers that happens in Nigeria. So talking about the team that built this, we have our CEO, Guy Futi. Uh, Fikayo is our CTO, Kunle is head of product, uh, that's myself, I'm part of the engineering team and we have F4 who runs operations with us. Having said that, I think this is really this, one of the shortest sessions we've had. Oops. Okay. 
Well, basically, the last slide says thank you very much. <laughs> thank you.